Here we have a parallel beam of white light passes through the diffraction grating. Orange light of wavelength. Ooh, it's time to draw. Okay, picture time. Let's go. So here's a diffraction grating. I use dotted light, dotted line. White light generally just light coming in. White light, by the way, has all wavelengths. Orange light, 600 nm in the fourth order maximum, coincides with blue light in the fifth order maximum. What does coincides mean? Coincides means they, are, they overlap. Ah. So if you look at your orange light, uh, this is zero. Orange light will be somewhere here. Nice orange color. This is their what order? Ah? Fourth order. So for orange, is n equals to 4 of your 600 nanometer. But also, someone else is also at the exact same position with that exact same angle, theta. This will be the blue light, fifth order. So blue light is also there. Oh yeah, how to draw? Oh yeah, you get the idea. Lah. Also there, but this is the fifth order. And it has a different wavelength also. Ma. So what is the wavelength? That is what we need to find. How do we find this thing? Where do we start? For diffraction grating, there's only one equation. Write out the equation first. So let's, okay, uh, let's, let's think about it. N lambda equals to D sine theta. We don't know a lot of information there. Eh? Oh, 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 what is, maybe we can ask ourselves a question. For both of these maxima, the orange and the blue, what is the same between them? Same setup. Okay, so same D. Same angle. Hmm, different wavelength and different order though. So that means for both of these wavelengths, you can set up an equation where this n lambda is a constant. So I can equate them, do some ratio. So the blue colors n times lambda is the same as the orange colors n times lambda. Ah, ratio, ratio, ma, n proportional to 1 over lambda, okay? This is another way of writing uh, n proportional to 1 over lambda. So we plug in all the values that we know n of 5 of blue with I don't know what wavelength equals to the orange color fourth order and at 600 we can keep nanometers right yeah can this one is in uh, in ratio so it's okay nanometers this will give us a lambda of 480 nanometers best choice mm. I think B is the best choice. So this one is the best way to find this thing. Okay. So whenever you have diffraction, grating, double slit questions, that they never give you diagram, you draw your own. And you see, okay, coincides means they overlap. Then you start with the equation. What's constant? What can I share? What can I equate? That's how you can solve questions like this. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.